welcome back to this emergency preparedness series. If you were here for the last two episodes, I guess you want to call them, but if you were here for the last two videos, then you already saw um, the overall emergency preparedness and the fire preparedness. And today I wanted to build on that a little bit. But anyway, today I wanted to go over what you would do in an earthquake. So growing up in California, I always heard that you go to either a, like under a table and hold on and like drop or in a doorway. And actually for the last big earthquake that we had, I was in a doorway because I thought it was my pets shaking the house until it really started going. That was the Napa earthquake back in... I don't know, like 2013 or something like that. I have no idea. But anyway, apparently you do not want to be in an earthquake. I don't know why or, I mean, obviously you don't want to be in an earthquake. Sorry. Apparently you don't want to be standing in a doorway during the earthquake. And because if you're standing in a doorway during an earthquake, the door could collapse on you. Like the door could, if it's a doorway with a door on it, the door could be like swinging in and out and could hit you and hurt you. Or like the, the doorway could collapse on you and you don't want that. So <laughs> in an earthquake, you want to be under a table or like something secure. You want to have your arms like this on the ground, you know, just protecting your head and yourself. So drop, cover, hold on. Those are the three things to remember in an earthquake. If you are someone that uses a walker, if you have one of those walkers with the seat on it, what you wanna do, you wanna put your brakes on, sit on the walker. Okay, so if you're someone that has a walker, you would sit down. <clears throat> if you're someone, oh my goodness, if you're someone that has a walker, you'd sit down on the walker, make sure the brakes are on and uh, hold on to the walker like this with the sides of the railing. Sorry, my cat, she always wants to say hi. But anyway, and hold on to the walker. Same thing, if you are in a wheelchair, you'd also want to put the brakes on and hold on to the wheelchair and try to cover yourself if you can, like in this position, if you can. And then, uh, the animals freak out in an earthquake, which is actually why I was in a doorway for the last one because I was yelling at uh, my dog and my cat because <laughs> I thought they were just chasing each other around. It turns out they sensed this earthquake and were going crazy because of that. 